Doug Hanahan and I, in 1998, walked down into the mouth of a volcano in Hawaii, and on the way out of the mouth of the volcano, we came to the conclusion it might be interesting to write a review article in which we summarized what we imagined were the principles by which cancer cells grew abnormally. In other words, cancer research as a field was a very broad and disparate collection of findings, and we thought there might be some underlying principles through which we could organize all these disparate ideas. And so we came up with the notion that there were six properties of cancer cells that were shared in common by virtually all cancer cells and that defined the neoplastic growth state, the state of cancerous growth. We enumerated these six uh, different hallmarks, as they were called. Uh, among them were unlimited proliferation, lack of responsiveness to growth inhibitory signals, resistance to programmed cell death, i.e. apoptosis, invasiveness, metastasis, immortalized proliferation, and so forth. And together uh, we uh, drafted this review article and we fully expected it to disappear like a stone thrown into a quiet pond. We never imagined that it would become canonized into something that was really widely accepted by the whole scientific community because generally when you write such an article, Several people read it and then forget about it, and within a year or two, nobody ever remembers that it existed. Uh, as such, we came to believe it was really a very useful background on which people could then uh, assemble their own particular research findings, placing their findings in the context of what we imagined would be these principles of cancer. Doug Hanahan, I believe, will review uh, the um, progress of these six different areas that we enumerated in the year 2000, and I will actually begin to extend uh, several areas in my own area of research, that being the, the areas of how cancer cells invade and metastasize, and how they on occasion are able to recruit stromal cells, which help to support their own proliferation. So I will focus more specifically and more deeply into certain areas of research where my own research program has made some progress. One of the principles that has emerged uh, with great clarity over the last decade is the notion that tumors are really highly complex tissues, indeed as complex in terms of their makeup of different cell types as normal tissues are. And it's this recognition of interactions, reciprocal interactions between various cell types within a tumor that has emerged with great clarity over the last decade and has begun to uh, redefine the way many of the properties of cancer are understood. I think one important change over the next 10 years will be that the findings about the causal forces that generate cancers will finally be gener generated into novel kinds of therapies. Until now, the yields in terms of cancer therapeutics have been rather modest. That is to say, our research, the research of our colleagues, has yielded thousands of insights into the causal forces that propel cancer cells into being. But in general, uh, these insights have not really yielded many therapeutic advances in terms of treating patients and uh, increasing their lifespan and indeed curing tumors. And such cures and such uh, successful therapies will become abundant over the next decade, I predict.